Good morning. Today we're at Dollar Tree at Glenway Crossing on the western side of Cincinnati. It's a fairly new Dollar Tree. We're going to go in and check it out, uh, see if they have any new items. I do believe it's all $1.25. I've never been to this Dollar Tree, so let's get to it. So since we come in the Dollar Tree here, we do notice that it is $1.25. This store has gone up as well. I'll tell you what, at first glance, this Dollar Tree does seem like it is pretty empty. Okay, so I came straight to the back here just to check some things out it does look like they have some cleaning supplies one thing i will say is that prices have been going up in a lot of the stores around cincinnati so i'm expecting that a lot of people are going to start shopping at dollar tree to try and save a few dollars now this place seems like it's pretty wiped out to be honest with you they do have some little doggy snacks here not much i don't see anything for cats um Sheesh. It's pretty low. Well, here's some cat snacks. And they got some $1.25 movies. They're worth about a dollar. This store is pretty massive, so I don't know. It seems like they may have trouble filling the store up. I don't know. It is fairly new. I don't know. I'm not sure when they opened. It's kind of hidden back here at Glenway Crossing. Um, I don't know. Pretty much wiped out of everything. They have some dish soap. They do got some palm olive there. $1.25 per palm olive is a pretty good deal, I guess. As you can see here, no toilet paper, barely any paper towels. Oh, okay. There's a few rolls of toilet paper up here. Look at this. This is crazy. I did notice that they have some storage gallon freezer bags here. I don't know, guys. It's pretty low here. This is uh, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. This might end up being a very short video, mostly because there's not much to film. Um, not really much to get in here for you guys. They do have some Betty Crocker containers, but very low. It's probably the lowest Dollar Tree I've ever seen. They've got some Michelina meals. Um, I think those are actually a dollar at Kroger. Uh, they may have gone up though, not really sure. We did get a couple comments on the Luigi meatballs, uh, good and bad. But a lot of you guys have said that your stores haven't had them in a while. They do have them here. They also got the baked soft pretzels. Hey, they do have the uh, the big Monterey chimichangas in $1.25. It was a lot better when those were a dollar. But, you know, everything's going up. So I'm expecting a lot more people are going to be shopping here. They do have the State Fair corn dogs. We've gotten some comments on these over the past couple months. Uh, and these have shot up in the stores. Um, so $1.25 for two of them. You don't get many, but they also have the Fast Spice Chicken Sandwiches. We've had mixed reviews on these. Do have some of the tater rounds that somebody said that they liked a while back. Just wanted to point those out. Um, these are hard to find. We did see where Kroger's been getting a lot of frozen potato products in. Fries, tater tots, stuff like that. They do have um, a bunch of the mixed vegetables in. Now, we haven't seen these at Dollar Tree uh, in a while, so good to see that they have these. Um, yeah. Now, one cool thing they do have spaghettios, uh, so it would be a dollar twenty-five. They're a dollar forty-nine at Kroger right now. You can get a little thing of Frank's Red Hot Sauce for a dollar, dollar twenty-five. I don't care for the wing sauce. I mean, it's okay, but I usually just get the original. As you guys see here, as I kind of pan over, um, hey, got some Nor sides for a dollar twenty-five. It's about what they are everywhere. You can see here, there's just, there's nothing. I mean, I don't even know what to say, really. Here's some Jet Puff stuff. <laughs> uh, they do have the small little bags of cereal for $1.25. Sorry, I'm trying to, trying to hype myself up here, and it's, it's not easy. They do have cans of tuna here, but again, they're $1.25. And I, you know, I know tuna has been going up, but I do feel like we can find these cheaper. Uh, we saw they had the five packs at Kroger. They were five dollars. So uh, the Star Kiss. So I've never tried these brands. Uh, they do have the premium white chicken here uh, for a dollar twenty-five. So that might not be too bad of a deal. And actually, this is all the white premium chicken right here. We have the potted meat and sardines. Uh, this is the only tuna I'm seeing here. The Albacore, Orleans Albacore. Uh, they may have somewhere, 
some somewhere else, but one thing, uh, they do carry the Healthy Choice Chicken Noodle, $1.25. That's pretty good soup. And it's all kind of random. I was going to go to the Dollar Tree a little closer to us, but I wanted to check this one out. And one funny thing about that the Dollar Tree closest to us is they closed at 3 o'clock and said they will be opening in about a, a couple hours. And I was thinking to myself, like, um, yeah, I don't have a couple hours, so we'll come to the new one that I've never been to before. Haven't heard anything about this Dollar Tree. Yeah, they don't even have as many spices as the one close to us. Very low on spices, but they are $1.25. But again, we're finding spices for 95 cents, like they had them for 98 cents a piece at Walmart. Um, we saw the ones, the ones did go up at Aldi. I believe they're 97 cents now, but yeah, it's, uh, kind of sad looking. So here's something I tried the other day, the hearty ham and bean soup. Um, the kitchen, I like all the kitchen classics that Campbell's makes. Um, this is really good. If you can find it, actually Dollar Tree is the only place I've been able to find it surprisingly. Um, and it's only a dollar 25. I know I don't need to keep saying that. Everybody knows it's $1.25 everywhere, but it's just force of habit. They do have some Powerades in here. I don't see any Gatorade. But again, these would be $1.25. Um, I'm not sure what they are in the stores right now. I haven't really checked. I mostly drink Gatorade, but some people said they like Powerade better, so I guess they do. They I have not seen this at our Dollar Tree, so that is something new that they have here. They do have a lot of the sweet teas, and honestly, I do believe that this this is 34 ounces. I do believe that's worth $1.25. You can't find the big ones anywhere but Dollar Tree. And me and Jessica love these, so that's something good. So we do have quite a good amount of cookies, but again, we're just seeing so much empty space here. It's, I don't know. I, I know this is a big store. Here's something. Nature Valley, four bars. There's no way four bars is in this. Unless they're like half and half or something. They do seem like they have a lot of candy and chips. Pretty full on this. This is the most full aisle in this place, I believe. Okay, so I had to go over to the other side of the store here because that was getting pretty depressing. Um, funny thing, I did just run into my aunt here. Um, she was shopping for a um, bridal shower for a friend of hers. And the... We were looking in the party supplies, and they barely have any. I'll go over there here in a minute. But I wanted to check out these little things, like if there's anything cool out of here. They got some little Marvel and DC characters. $1.25 for a little toy. Can't really beat that. I mean, this place hasn't been open long at all. And I swear, any Dollar Tree that I ever go to has more than this. Any one of them. I mean, I've been, we have a Dollar General around here that's always empty, but they don't have any employees. That could be part of the issue here, too. I'm not really sure. But, I mean, they're just out of so much. Okay, so I think part of the problem is that this used to be Jack's Aquarium, which is a huge store. Huge store. So, I think that could be an issue of not being able to, it doesn't look full. It looks more empty because this is a huge place. Biggest Dollar Tree I've ever seen and yet they can't fill up maybe a third of the store. And now that my aunt has got her stuff, she wasn't able to find the bow she needed, or I, th I think she might have gotten a card, but I mean, there's nothing. This is like, this is what we come to Dollar Tree for. Bows, wrapping paper, bags. There's no bags here either. I haven't seen any gift bags, none. I mean, they might be on the other side of the store, we'll check. But I mean, this is what we come to Dollar Tree for. This is crazy. Okay, so I found a few gift bags over here, but not many. And they're like these really cheap ones. Okay, so we did find a handful um, of some other bags back here. These look like Christmas. But I mean, look at this. This is crazy. Um, you know, they have some, but this is not... This is not what you normally see at Dollar Tree. I think the reason why this is especially upsetting for me, because I love Dollar Tree. They need to get more stuff in here. I will say that I will be sticking to the Dollar Tree that me and Jessica usually go to, or the one a little further out. The one a little further out always has a lot more stuff, a lot more food. This place barely has any food. No canned goods, just a few. 
Well, as I came over here, I did find that they do have some of their little crafting items and stuff. So this is pretty cool. They really do. They need to fill this store up, though. This is a huge store. Um, I have no doubt that they could make a lot of money here, but not like this. So I don't know what is supposed to be here. They have like these foam um, craft artesian things. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how much these cost. It's a two-piece uh, $1.25 here. They do got these nice little flower, flower holder things. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's like, has this stuff been full before? So they do have bubble mailers. <laughs> Sorry guys, I know this is probably a boring video. I'm trying to make it as exciting as possible, but it's hard to do that when I'm not finding anything. Like, you know, I came in here to check out all the food and thought that they would have a ton of canned goods and stuff like that, you know, because of everything going on. You know, we need places that are going to be able to have some kind of value to them, which most Dollar Trees are. Just this one is just, I don't know, very sad looking. Now, I know that they haven't been open more than a couple months. It is kind of hidden back here, though. So I will say that, you know, unless you know where it is, uh, it's, it's, you know, not hard to find, but I can see where you would miss it. But you can't tell me that they have sold all this stuff. There's no way. And they do have some car stuff now. I mean, this kind of stuff, I don't, you know, I haven't been to Walmart's automotive section lately, but um, I'm sure that stuff's starting to go up a little bit in price. Got these paint brushes here, a little wrench set, some carabiners. They kind of have their shampoo and body wash kind of mixed in together here. I mean, um, it's, uh, I don't know what to say, guys. Leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, this is the new Dollar Tree, the newest Dollar Tree to the western side of Cincinnati. Um, I don't really know what to think. Well, they do have some baby supplies here. Got some combs, some binkies, or pacifiers, whatever you like to call them there. Yeah, okay. Well, this is good to see. This is useful. Um, got some bottle cleaners. Yeah, I mean, this is everything that every other Dollar Tree has, but... You know, it's good to see that they're getting some stuff in. Um, I'm starting to wonder why they put this store here. I feel like there's already loyal customers at their other Dollar Trees around here. So that could that could very well be why this one isn't getting as much business or much product. When they do have some medicines in here. Oh, somebody was asking about clear vinyl gloves. Uh, they have these here, 10 of them. $1.25. Yeah. Dollar Tree might be the place to find them. Um, and they have some Advil and the leave, some basic medicines. Um, yeah, okay. So we found a couple good sections here. And maybe it's just going to take them time to fill up the store. I don't want to completely down it here because, you know, it uh, seems like some nice people work here. So I remember a while back, somebody was asking about these Marizada corn tostadas. The funny thing is, is that about a month ago, we couldn't find these anywhere. Nowhere. Now we see them all over the place. See them at Kroger, Meyer, Walmart. It's like they got a whole section here. And that's all you see. Now well, you got some tortillas, I guess. And coming back to this top section here, they do have a couple things of cereal, some pancake, and some uh, buttermilk pancake mix. We've had an issue with this across the country lately because... There was something with the Great Value pancake batter, and I believe it was the waffle mix too, but there was a recall on it because there was something going on, so having trouble finding pancake mix, Dollar Tree might be an option. Pretty much at every Dollar Tree you come to, there's always a weekly dollar items that they put on here. They do have the Green Giant vegetables, uh, some green beans, corn. Um, they are a dollar at Kroger right now, but I have a feeling they're about to go up. Uh, and they do have the ramen. These are the five packs, but they're only a dollar, so uh, they have gone up. I believe it's a dollar fifty for a six pack at uh, Kroger now. So something to check out. Ooh, they also have some Goya beans down here. Got the black beans. And down here along the back wall, they do have a lot of their kitchen utensils and stuff like this. Another good reason for Dollar Tree. Um, you know, a lot of this stuff you won't find. For $1.25 or less, 
um, you know, oven mitts, stuff like that. So this is good to see. They got a good amount of this stuff back here too. Hey, somebody had mentioned the American seed specialty seeds here, four for a dollar. They do have these here. This is good to see. Um, they're out of a lot of them, but that could just be they haven't gotten a lot in. Let's see, it's just a side. Oh, they got these flowers too. Okay, four for a dollar. These are non-GMO seeds, so see, peppers, lavender, thyme, radishes, turnips, uh, different beans. Okay, yeah, glad to see this. Someone mentioned this. Um, yeah, they got so, them here. I am back from Dollar Tree. Uh, sad. Very sad store. Um, and they just opened 30 days ago. I did find out they opened up uh, one month ago to the day. So I was even more shocked at that point because it doesn't look like a store that gets a lot of traffic going through there. Um, and we'll have to check. I'm probably going to check. Uh, you know, we'll give it a few days. But I'm going to go to our Dollar Tree that we go to that's a little further out. That seems to do a little better. Uh, we're going to check there, see what they have. I'm sure they have a lot more stuff. Um, and it was crazy visiting the other Dollar Tree earlier. Part of the reason why I went to the new one was because the one down, the other one down the street from us was closed. It said that they had closed at 3 o'clock and they'll be open in a couple hours. Didn't say what time or anything. So I'm sure that that is an employee problem. Um, but we'll just have to check. We'll check the other Dollar Tree here in a few days. Um, yeah, very sad to see that they're not getting a lot of stuff at all. I mean, none. Like, even the few things they had, it seemed, it seemed a bit ridiculous. You know, like, everything was kind of just all over the place. Uh, they'd have Campbell's soups, like, kind of all scattered out. Um, and it's, it's just in complete disarray. I feel like they need... A good manager you know to to get this stuff in maybe they're struggling in that i don't really know i'm not sure uh we probably won't be going to that i'll go back to that dollar tree but i'm gonna wait a long time let them figure out what's going on um you know it, it was funny seeing my aunt there it was her first time there too and she couldn't believe how empty the store was and uh yeah i mean it's it's kind of crazy a store that just opens and a lot of that stuff we could tell that they weren't set like the pins and all that stuff. I mean, unless they had like a super sale when they first opened and then just got rid of that stuff. I'm not really sure, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. Um, hard to really do a video in there for you guys because it was so empty. I just, it was hard for me to get out the words. Crazy day at the dollar 25 tree. They may have to come up with a different name. Dollar tree just doesn't sound right anymore. Uh, the dollar 25 tree um, what are some of your favorite things to buy at the Dollar Twenty Five Tree? I was happy to see that they had the seeds. We actually got a couple comments that if you're going to buy seeds to plant stuff, they didn't have a, a lot of variety of them. But we'll check at another Dollar Tree or two, you know, to see if they they're getting them in. I know a lot of people uh, springtime people are looking for garden tools, stuff like that. We may go to Walmart or something. Check out their gardening center. See what see what things are going on there. Let me know down below if you want me to do something like that. Um, yeah, it's a crazy day. Very unexpected. Um, but it is what it is. And, you know, like I said before, we're going to be seeing a lot more people shop at these stores as prices start to go up. Um, and they are. They're soaring right now. I feel like every time I go to a different store, there's multiple products that have gone up in price. And it's just, you know, it's crazy times right now. Well, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out there.